Oh man, it's early in the morning. Um, hello guys. Uh, I don't know why I do this, but you know what? Yeah, I just feel like I need to. I want to keep recording because I enjoy using this team, and I need to probably work on my commentary. So, um, yeah, definitely just gonna go on a few more battles with this the dream team that I'm calling it now because. It's really good, I haven't lost with it for a while, um, and I just want to see how it goes against uh, a lot of the uh, better opponents in the ladder. So, Poker Death, that's a charming name. Uh, I feel like I've taken a guy on with this name before, I don't know. Looking at his team, I feel kind of safe starting with Rotom. Um... Yeah, r r r yeah, that, that's okay. Oh, if I had a dollar for every time I saw a guy name their Tyranitar Godzilla, obviously, um, obviously, rocks have to be coming, surely. Or not, or not, um, Anubis, yeah. Because he might D dance. No, he's just going to stealth rock. Oh, son. Son. He's going to have to switch out or else he dies, so. Um, Aegislice is the only real safe switch. Mandibuzz does not take an Aura's Fuel, well, especially after a nasty plot. It's not going to take anything well. So Lucario is feeling pretty good here. Um, he's got. So I've got early control again, even though it's a Mega Tita, Mega Tita is still slow. So he makes the best switch uh, he makes the best switch you can, which is into Egg Slash. <coughs> I can't touch this thing. With Lucario, so I'm just gonna do the safe play into my Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz is the best Pokemon to really use if you think that, that Egg Slash has weakness policy. Because it's not going to be able to touch you. So he might predict me to switch out. Or he'll go for the Sacred Sword. And I don't want to keep Malukaro in predicting him to switch out. Because... <sighs> That's a really risky play. I don't want to take that risk. So we guys switch in Mandibars. He's going to Swords Dance. Big mistake, Aegis Slash. I'm going to start by defogging because I can take any boosted hit because I'm physically defensive. So if he just wants to boost attack, that's more than fine with me. I can survive one hit and then the second one, I'll foul play. And he might just king shoot here expecting me to be like, oh, I'm just going to foul play straight away. Nah. Nah, bro. I'm going to defog. And he's going to try and iron hit. That does a lot. But we both know I'm faster. So I'm just going to foul play. Because Shadow Sneak ain't going to kill me from there. Um, yeah, it's not. Because I'll resist it. Actually, no. I kind of want to roost. kind of want to roost. If I did 58%, yeah, I kind of want to roost. Yeah, because I knew it was going to Shadow Sneak. So I can just roost right back up. And get more health back. Um, and now his Aegis Slash is going to get hit by that foul play. And if he wants to go into shield form, that's okay. Um, I think he has a weakness policy. And because he runs Iron Head, uh, I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to go to Azuma or this foul play isn't going to do jack shit. I'm worried he's choice banned and he can kill me here. So I want to switch into Ferrothorn. Just to be safe. I really want to go for the knockoff then. Because if he had like a citrus berry. Then I could get rid of it. And if this thing decides to belly drum on my ferrothorn. It's going to do shit all. So he's going to go for the player rough. He's going to do 25%. So I'm thinking maybe choice band. Because that's a fair bit. But I want to take this opportunity to rocks. Because then he gets his mana out here. Now I want to take this opportunity to T-Wave. Because the only thing it resists it is Diggersby. If I could see a wave of Dragonite or an Aegis Slash, so just I can't believe that he switched out his Aegis Slash. Well, the way I see, like he, so Godzilla, Godzilla, 
Okay, cool. He paralyzed. Um, I feel like he must have Fire Blast, otherwise he wouldn't really switch it in, or it's the fact that he knew Garibald was my only attacking move. I'm going to take this opportunity to set up rocks, because I don't think he runs Fire Blast. I'm going to be faster anyway, so the rocks will go up, and if I die to Fire Blast, then I die to Fire Blast. And that's just bad prediction on my part. If you do hear some background noises, uh, my dog is inside right now. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> she's just... She's been a bit calmer lately. So, you know. Um, hopefully she's a bit calmer when I do these videos today. And not barking around. Uh, so, that he did have a fire blast, but... Obviously, he has no special attack investments, because that didn't kill me one shot. So, I am going to try and predict him here. I'm going to go into Lucario, and I'm going to do a hard switch to Mandibuzz straight away. Predicting him to switch out to something else. And that way I've got a bit more of an advantage. And if I need to, Mandibuzz can just roost back up. Because anything that comes in now is also taking Stealth Rock damage. So I'm hoping he switches, and he did. So he goes into his own Mandibuzz. This is good for me. Because straight away, uh, he might defog. I'm just going to go straight for the knockoff. My Mandibuzz has no fear right now. If he doesn't run knockoff, I can just waste this Mandibuzz that he's using. So I'm going to knock off those lefties. He's going to taunt me, which seems like a bit of a silly play, because, like, what was I going to do? So that knockoff did only 8%, so I want to see if the foul play does any more damage. Because I don't have taunt on him, so he can roost, so... I kind of want to go into... So there's the default to get rid of my uh, rocks, which will never be out there anymore, which is a bitch, because that, uh, that Dragonite worries me. So the foul play did nothing as well. Uh, I kind of want to now go into Anubis. Yeah. Because he just walls Mandibuzz, and then he has to go into Aegislash. So I can switch back in. Yeah, so... Ah, oh, man. Uh, trying to do calcs from last time, I took on an Azumarill. Uh... The crit mechanic is now 1.5 instead of 2. So I did 50%. Aura Spheres doing the exact same damage as a Flash Cannon. Um, yep. Yep. This has got a... Nah. Oh, wow. No. Shit. Shit. Okay. So obviously I did my calculations wrong. It's all good guys, it's all good. Got A slash. Shadow Sneak. Zoomerill's out of here. Ah, uh, you can keep his Zoomerill alive, I suppose, if it's um choice banded. Uh what I'm really hoping now is that that does not have a weakness policy. But if it does, it's okay, I got Mandibars. Okay. Uh, no fear on the Diggersby. I got Mandy. Mandy checks most of his team, to be honest. Uh, Diggersby, um, Aegislash, and D-Knight, and probably Azumarill. None of them appreciate my Mandibuzz right now. Tita I can deal with, because I still, of course, have my Garchomp, who is probably going to be golden in this battle. I... Really want to go for the knockoff before I go for the foul play. Because if I can knock off anything that comes in, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, so I don't know what he's going to bring in. See, Azumarill's dead. Yeah, it's not surviving that. So now he gets a free switch into his Tyranitar, I'm guessing. Tyranitar must be his best choice. I uh, can't really see any others that are screaming out to be used. If he goes into T-Tar, I might just go Garchomp or Aegislash. Scare him out to his own Aegislash. So yeah, that T-Tar was pretty obvious. Um, 
maybe rocks because he knows I can't set any more up. So my switch to Aegislash is pretty elementary and I mean he might have the ice beam. Maybe. I don't know. Regardless, it's gonna do nothing. So he goes for the Stone Age, I resist that like a trooper. I'm just gonna go straight for the Sacred Sword. Because even if he switches out into his own Aegislash, I'm not too fussed. Oh no. Guess who's barking? Maggie! Hey! We talked about this. Ugh, oh, what a bitch. What a bitch. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with her after this battle. Um, and I'm gonna get her outside again because she's being too annoying. So, anyway, he brought in his mandibars. I'm gonna try and predict him here. Actually, I do pretty well because um, Mandibase is going to be faster. Um, let's see how much does that first one do? 19%. After plus 2 boost for weakness policy. I'd say it's enough. So come at me, Mandibase. You went with Tailwind. What? Hello? Why? Uh, damn. So I can't kill the Mandibase. I'm going to predict a Roost. Because he knows that I can't King Shield. I was really hoping, really hoping he'd actually do a smarter move than that. He's gonna go with his Tita. I kinda... See, why didn't I just stick with the... Yeah, Sacred Sword would've killed it, but I didn't want to take the risk. Hmm. See, I thought his Tita would've had Sandstream. But uh, it's come in and there's no sand. Which is weird. Uh, obviously his Tita is fast, but really, Rotom... All Rotom does right now is get rid of Mandibus, so he's kind of important. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get right back out into Aegislash. That was a good double switch. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Sacred Sword. Because, yeah, I knew the taunt was coming. I saw it all over your face, boy. I saw it all over your face. And if he wants to roost now, I just want to Sacred Sword him again. Or... Rotom. him. No, 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 Rotom. him. Rotom. Because I saw that Brave Bird coming. I saw it coming, boy. Um, V-Switch, no. Actually, even if he roosts, Will-O-Wisp is going to be a pain in his ass. Because he has no lefties anymore. He's got nothing for my Rotom. What kind of Mandibuzz taunts a Rotom from here? Yeah, boom. He taunts me. It doesn't matter. I'm faster. Get out of here. Get out of here. So, his safe in might be Tita. I don't know. But I've got a huge problem out of my way in his Mandibuzz. Um, and really, what I'm trying to do now is trying to get most of his team out of the way so that my Garchomp can come in and just do some... Mad shit. So his Aegis Slash, I'm pretty confident I can just go in, be faster, and Volt Switch out. It does a fair bit. I'm not saying it's like super duper damage, but it's good. He's going to Sword Stance. This is great for me. Uh, I don't think he has Rocks up, so don't need to worry about that. I want to knock off, but I'm pretty sure he's got the Weakness Policy, so it's a bit redundant. So Foul Play is my best attacking move from here. So he might have to switch out. And the hope is that eventually he goes into Dragonite. But he's going to stay in and just take a foul play to the face and die. Good news, my dog has calmed down and decided to go outside, so that's always good. Uh, Tita dies to Garchomp from here because he's paralyzed. Uh, Rotom checks, uh, or Diggersby can be checked by Mandy. So Mandy right now only has to worry about this thing. So the Sandstorm is up this time. So he's like, well, last time he came in, it wasn't up, and I was confused. I think it's because the Sandstorm was initially up, and he switched it in on the turn that Sandstorm died. That has to be it. Um, yeah. Nothing wants to take Aegis Slash's Sacred Sword from here. If he goes into Diggersby, I can just switch out. Yes. Suck a dick. Weakness policy. And we all know I'm going to be faster because you're paralyzed. 
and my Rotom was faster than you. So even if I got a Quiet Nature, I know that I'm going to be faster than you. Sacred Sword is going to kill. Booyah. This is game from here, guys. Pretty confident that I can take Poker Death from here. Um, Diggersby is his best switch in. Because I die to Diggersby. Um, but if he switches in Dragonite, then yay. Yeah, he chose the right switch in. He might think that I'm just going to King Shield. And I just want to go for the Sacred Sword straight away. Hoping to catch him off guard. I've got nothing to lose with this Aegis Slash now. Because it's... That, that's the thing, guys. If you run Weakness Policy Aegis Slash, you need to understand that... The moment... The moment that you decide to... Um... To... God, no, I'm a bit of a... Mental blank here. The moment you decide to use your Weakness Policy... Your Aegis Slash is in there for the whole time that you've activated it. There is no point switching out an Aegis Slash after the Weakness Policy, unless you have a chance to easily kill something. So he's going to D-Dance. What are you doing, dude? You're going to die soon. Yes, you're going to die to the Shadow Sneak. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Wow. I kind of just want to say wow in the um comments. That was silly poker death. That was silly. He's he's done. He's he's done. Like Sandstorm's over, but wow, I don't know why he thought it was a good idea to just do dance. That's the thing. You see this shit coming out, you gotta kill it. But Diggersby, this thing just poops all over it. This thing can wear it down and then once it's got like no HP left, Garchomp comes in and finishes it. So I'm just gonna go for the uh Sacred Sword. Hoping maybe he just goes for a sword stance to try and think that maybe he can sweep the rest of my team. But he needs to try and eliminate the threat that's in front of him. He didn't. What are you doing, Diggersby? <laughs> Why didn't you EQ? Why of all the moves would you choose U turn? Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, good battle, Poker Death. But that was. Yeah. I uh, don't Diggersby, though. Obviously, watch a Shofu, but like. Wow. Wow, Poker Dead. Okay, anyway, uh, let's get on to the next battle because um, that one has left me with a lot of questions.